Good morning, fellas. It's Saturday morning, and uh, I'm getting a late start this morning. Had a few things to do around the house before I could come out here. So the first part of this video is going to start Thursday night with working on the fuel tank, and uh, then continue on Friday, uh, running around getting parts and a few things, and then uh, We'll pick up today and where we're at. So uh, enjoy, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see if we get this tank in today. Later. Hey, fellas! It's Thursday night, about six twenty, and we're about eighty still in the garage. And I've been working on the tank. Uh, contact cement these on the bottom. We still have two more to do on the top. We'll do those tomorrow. Uh, it's all about getting the tank ready to go in. Well, the tank was made in Taiwan, but uh, look where my fuel pump was made. So I'm doing this so that everybody can see how I'm going to do this. And uh, won't, you guys won't see this until Saturday's video. So this will be the first part of Saturday's video. I'm getting the fuel pump out because I'm going to take that with me to Nevada House of Hose tomorrow. They're making a new steel braided fuel line. This is the fitting I need to go to the, to the fuel filter. We need a quarter inch NPT to go onto that end and it needs to be 27 inches long and I think this is 25. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just getting everything laid out. On the way home from Nevada House of Hose, I'm going to stop at McFadden Dale and uh, get a bracket for this. This has, they say, this has to be higher than the fill on the tank. We still got to do all this as far as cutting and setting the pump up. And so we're going to be doing this tomorrow and get the pump in. So that'll be there. Uh, contact cement so that's what I'm doing uh, let's see there was something else I wanted to say Saturday the tank will be going in tomorrow night won't be doing much of anything except prepping for the tank tomorrow morning I said I'm going to Nevada house and hose they open at 7 uh, where they're located in Henderson is about two blocks away from where I worked as a fire inspector for the city of Henderson. So I'm meeting all the guys there early and we're going out to breakfast. So I would take the camera along, but the sun's still gonna be down when I get up and get over there. And so uh, we'll just go ahead and save the camera for when I get back from the Nevada House of Hose in the video then. So that's what we're doing. Let's see, this is the tank installation and see this is what they're saying the vent they want this higher than the fill and that's going to be pretty hard to do in the back of that car but I think I'm going to put it up underneath the package tray in the trunk ooh focus come on so <clears throat> so that's what we'll do but we got a lot of stuff to go through and to take care of. I gotta get the fuel line. If you hold on, I'm gonna unwrap the fuel pump. Here's the fuel pump. And here's the bracket. There's a vent here. This is the return. Here's the supply, and the positive and the negative. So we're going to have fun sitting there figuring out how to put this together. As you can see, we got to cut and trim, take some dimensions, and I'll do all that when I do all that tomorrow. I won't crumble that up. When I do all that tomorrow, I will. Uh, video it for you guys so that's where we're at 
again before I start really babbling on and carrying on I'm just trying to get this together this will go down to Nevada House of Hose with me to make sure I get the right they say it's a quarter inch NPT I want to make sure and uh, no mistakes because they aren't open on the weekend tomorrow's the last day of the week and they'll make this line while I wait so so as always you guys have a good evening again you won't be seeing this until Saturday so uh, later hey guys it's now Friday morning 10 o'clock yeah about 80 in the garage and it's an overcast day and again let's see this one will fall right after tomorrow's or last night's video and uh, I'll upload it with Saturday's video as uh, we do this uh, these are all dry I'm going to flip it over, but I'm back from my errands. Uh, got up early this morning, and like I said last night, and uh, <coughs> excuse me, and went to uh, breakfast this morning with uh, a friend of mine who's a building inspector and a real good friend of mine, Joel McGinnis, who's a arson investigator for the city of Henderson. And I haven't talked to Joe. Oop, the clock going. And I haven't talked to Joel in, in several years since I retired, and it was good to sit down with him. I've known Joel ever since he graduated from high school, and uh, I was, what, 27, 28 years old, and, uh, working in the industry, and Joel came to work with me at Statewide Fire Protection, and uh, he was fresh out of high school. God, how times have changed. Uh, let's see, what did he say? He's got one more, one more daughter, that uh, is in high school and she graduates this year. Man, how times have changed. But anyway, I went to Nevada House of Hose and you can see I got the new hose made. So that's done, this is the old hose. We can set that aside. So we've got the hose there. Went to McFadden Dale and uh, picked up the, the quarter inch to slip for the return line in here okay so that's there also picked up 5 16 fuel line for the vent if you remember correctly the uh, tank vents right there also there's a tank on top a uh, vent on top of the tank and so the kit they gave you a, a Y and uh, it goes to this vent that we got to mount as they say right here the vent and high this bracket or frame I got to make so I'll dig out some of my steel and we'll make that we still have to mount uh, the fuel pump and here's the pump itself and uh, do that and I'll do that on camera also uh, let's see, for better gasket seal, use Permatex Indian Head Gasket Shellac. Now, I compound, I haven't seen that since I watched my dad put together a, a Ford Flathead. He used it on that. Uh, I haven't seen that stuff forever. Or Aviation Forma Gasket Sealant. And here we go. Aviation Forma Gasket Sealant. On the gasket and screws. Okay. Uh, so... I've got everything to do this the, for the installation of the tank now. We got to make a got to make this bracket for the vent. I got the, the rest of the rubber pad to mount to the top of the tank. So we'll flip that over. And so during the day today, I'll just be turning on the video on and off as we get this prepared to get installed. And uh, hopefully by the end of today, this is all set to slide in. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to make a couple of jumper leads for the positive and the negative and do a connection underneath the car and just uh, do it that way. Then I don't have to fight with this and figure it out. But uh, we'll see. So, oh, and like I said, I'm going to wire it up through the Ron Francis harness and see if it works that way and if it doesn't then we're going to go toggle switch 
and everything else and that's a, another reason why I'll probably sit there and do a separate harness so that's all I got for now and uh, when I have more I'll turn this back on later well fellas I don't know how this is coming out but my viewfinder screwing up maybe it's time for me to get a new camera <clears throat> anyway if you look at my August 27th video you'll see the old fuel tank and in here was some pretty stout rubber strips and they this is an eighth inch ch deep channel here and it's stuck up a little bit tall so it would sit there and not have metal of metal on it and so sat there and I thought you know to, should I put the strip rubber strips here or here or whatever so I went to Home Depot and I got an inch and a quarter wide by seven sixteenths thick and figured well inch and a quarter and I got three quarter inch there so three quarter inch and this is two and an eighth across here will give me two inches and sit there and do it but if you look it compresses down to where I get chattering with the tank sitting there hitting metal it's it just doesn't see if I get it there see so it just doesn't not going to do the job that I thought to do so what I'm going to do is uh, peel this back off and throw it away what I'm going to do is go ahead and contact cement strips on here the strips that I the strip that I use will be this thick and it should make a different bit of difference but then I won't get the metal on metal so that's where we're at I went looking spent the last hour and a half looking at old pictures trying to find the old pictures of the fuel tank the the, the original one and the uh, the one that I had in there from Rock Auto and I couldn't find anything to give me any type of uh, idea on what they were doing I couldn't find any anything that would really work in here and I went to uh, McFadden Dale and everything else and uh, so I might just do one more thing but uh, again I'm going to take my time I'm going to get this right so we'll see so that's the update for now and when I get more I'll turn it back on later okay fellas strips are contact cemented on and now we're going to measure for the D dimension and it's to the top of the gas tank so let's get down here and it looks to be almost six Are here looks to be almost six and a half inches hold it let me see this wait a minute guys hang on no I can't do this one-handed hang on guys I'll bring you back in a minute hey guys the other the other ruler was sitting there reflecting off the top of the, the light so I couldn't make it out. But it looks to be six and seven sixteenths. So so we got six and seven sixteenths, which is D dimension. So now we get to sit there and start trimming this up. So D minus an inch. So this is five and seven sixteenths of an inch for the uh, the uh, return tube. So let me take get a screwdriver, get that off, and we'll measure that down and then cut that. Bring you back when I got it done. Hang on. Okay, the next we got to do is put the filter sock on the bottom of the pump, measure it. And then uh, 
and then uh, D minus P equals what this piece is going to be right here. So, and this is going to take a couple of hands, just like this did. It's going to take a couple of hands to do it. So, uh, again, I'll bring you back when uh, we have some more. So, uh, hang on. All right, fellas. So, let's see. So, uh, I measured the pump to be four and a quarter. So, good old fractions. So, six and seven sixteenths, which is the D dimension, minus four and four sixteenths, which is four and a quarter. It's two and three sixteenths, and I was thinking about doing two, two and an eighth, or split it, and hang on. As you can see, if I quit turning it, as you can see, I split it. It's between a, an eighth and three sixteenths. So now we'll put the install the pump back in a minute. Hey right, fellas, well here it is. I don't know if I should put another wire tie like this, but then I don't know if these wire ties here were uh, special because of the gasoline. I don't want to put nothing in that's going to erode in the tank. So, but as they say, it looks the same as the pitcher. So, now we're going to, uh, well, first we're not going to, you should consider installing an access door in the floor above your pump module. No, nope, I'm not going to do that. And for a better seal, now we're going to do this. And uh, we'll see what happens. So, I think I've got it. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, when I get more, I'll turn this back on later. <clears throat> that stuff is nasty. I got the gasket on and uh, we'll let it set up before we do anything else. I don't want to move it around or anything so I'm going to let this gasket cement set up. I'm not going to put any on the top. I don't think it calls for it. And, and as you can see the uh, bolts have washers on them too. So, and I just put these three in to hold the gasket into place and keep my alignment of the, of the bolts lined up. So, we're just going to let this set up and uh, probably an hour or two and then we'll come back out and uh, set the pump in and tighten that up. And then next up will be the sending unit. When I have more, we'll turn it back on later. Well, guys, if you remember, I was having a hard time of getting these. I figured I'd let them set up. They're pretty well set up. Went ahead and did the for the did the gasket for the sending unit. So we got that to go. Uh, fuel pump is all together, as you saw on Friday's video. I uh, got the sending unit out, and looks like we got some work on that to do. So we'll go ahead and do that. Take a few dimensions. You already know what a dimension is. So uh, we'll figure that out and then uh, we'll go from there and uh, put this together. So when I get more, I'll turn this back on later. One, one quick note here, guys. Fuel tank made in Taiwan. Fuel pump made in USA. Fuel sending unit made in India. Gotta love this stuff. Alright, later. Hey fellas, sending unit's in. And I was hoping to get the float delayed this way, but I couldn't because of the uh, the fuel pump well 
So if you look, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, the arm of the float is right there and the floats off like this in this direction. So, so that's where we're at. Next up is the fuel pump. Then we got some vent lines to do and make up, some wiring to make up, and then we'll, it's going in. So when I have more, I'll turn this back on later. Okay, fellas, pumps in. Uh, feed, return, vent. Uh, next up is make some pigtails, and then slide this bad boy in. So, I'm going to take five, and uh, is it getting around lunchtime? Oh my god it is. I'm going to take five, grab some lunch, and then uh, we'll get back on it. When I have more, I'll turn this back on later. Alright fellas, we're done with the wiring. These, these are the grounds. And they will go to tie into this lead here. Which goes to the back under there where I showed you where the ground was. Uh, red is power for the pump. Yellow is the sending unit. And those will tie in underneath the car as well. Uh, so now I gotta get the rest of the hardware to put the tank in. And that's what we'll be doing next. Won't need to get to anything up here. Hopefully they won't leak. I tighten them up as good as I can get. So, yeah. Uh, the filler neck and the, and the vent, the rest of the vent tubing and everything else will be taken care of later. I want to get this in. I want to get it hooked up. I want to get two gallons in it and I want to make sure it's going to work. Or am I going to, I'm, <clears throat> am I going to have to do a toggle then? Uh, if the Ron, if something's wrong with the Ron Francis harness and I ain't digging in, into that today, that's another problem. But as long as she fires and we get it going, that's the main thing. That's what we're after. So I got to clean up my mess and uh, find the hardware for the tank, actually the bolts, and uh, we'll get this thing in later. Hey, fellas, tank's in. Uh, that's temporary wired right there. We will clean that up. First, we got to make sure this is all going to work. We aren't putting on any of this come up to here until uh, we verify that the tank's going to work. Now I got to go get some gas. So we'll see if this is going to fire. All right, back in a minute. All right, gas is in. We will hook up the battery. And uh, we'll fire it up. Where are you taking off? Okay. Let's see.
I gotta shut her down. We don't have any coolant in it. So, because I was going to take uh, the front clip apart and I didn't put any coolant back in it. So, uh, cool, it's movable again. Let's disconnect the battery. Hot damn, it's, uh, it's movable again. All right, so tomorrow we'll uh, <clears throat> tightening up all that wire down there. We will put the gas spout in. We will mount the rear tire and put it on the, the car. We will also make a bracket to mount this. And this is the fuel vent. It's got to be higher than that. And I think I'm going to put it back there somewhere. I haven't figured out where. But uh, we'll figure it out. Got this hose for the vent to run. And we'll just leave all the wiring stuff out for... Uh, for uh, I'm taking care of the wiring tomorrow. This is it for today. I'm beat. But I did what I wanted to do is get this thing running again. But we can get rid of the test light out of here. So, mission accomplished. So, the car's running again. Hot damn. Now we get to back it in and then we get to strip the whole front end off. And, uh, start aligning that A-frame. We got to do the subframe connectors, we got to drop the exhaust, whole bunch of stuff. So, got my work cut out for me. So, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for leaving comments. And as always, you guys have a good one, and we'll pick you up on the next one later.